In this video, I will give an overview of the background and political will that led to the emergence of regional film funds in Denmark as an attempt to rebalance resources and talent in the regions. Regional film funds are a relatively recent addition to the Danish cinematic landscape, with the first only appearing around the 1990s. Before the 90s, most of film production was concentrated in Copenhagen, and this was because most of the expertise and talent and key institutions were located there. Institutions such as the Danish Film Institute were there, as well as big film companies and, of course, all of the important Danish film talent. Around the turn of the new millennium, things began to change. New thinking about film began to take place at the state level, at the policy level. Film became not just art or entertainment, but film was thought of as a business and also as an economic sector that had the potential to develop the regions outside of the capital. This shift took place against the background where there was a growing sense of uh, an inequality, an economic inequality between the capital and the regions. And this was something that was mirrored in the Norwegian context as well as the Swedish context too. So decentralizing film production was a priority and it was seen as a way of rebalancing things. Regional rebalancing was what they called it. And this would mean that film production would bring a greater prosperity and increase jobs and employment in the regions. Regional film funds vary widely in size, uh, organizational structure, um, focus of key focus areas, but what they all have in common is the co-financing of film. And film could mean feature films, short films, documentaries or TV series. Film funds have also the responsibility to construct or loan out uh, facilities, as well as to build networks and to facilitate a policy framework that would enable film production to flourish in the regions. In the most recent film agreement, which stretches from 2019 to 2023, it was decided that both regional film funds would receive a huge boost in their finances. Each fund would receive 23.7 million Danish krona, which is about 3 million euros or 3.5 US dollars. And this means that each film fund has now the ability to finance more productions and more initiatives to foster and grow film talent in the regions. However, this new injection of state funds is not as rosy as people think it is there are some limitations. The funds can only be used for feature films, documentaries or short films. So this excludes television dramas, which are currently very popular in Denmark. Two examples of regional film funds in Denmark are the West Danish Film Fund and Film Fun. The West Danish Film Fund was established around 1997 and it's located in Aarhus, which is the unofficial capital of Jutland. Aarhus is of course the second largest city in Denmark and is home to a thriving film community that existed before the emergence of the Regional Film Fund. There was even a regional branch of the Danish Film Institute. So around the 90s it was thought that having a regional film fund would do much to boost uh, film production in the region as well as to grow the expertise and develop talent in the region. Today, the Regional Film Fund is backed by 10 member municipalities in central and northern Jutland. The purpose of the Film Fund is to secure artistically interesting film and television productions as well as computer games that have cultural references to the West Danish area and which also promote the development of the West Danish film and media industry. The West Danish Film Fund was involved in co-producing more than 60 productions such as Nymphomaniac by Lars von Trier, Sorrow and Joy by Niels Mamros, and other TV drama series such as the crime dramas Norsko and Dicta. Film Fun was established in 2003 and it's responsible for developing film culture on the island of Funen. Like the West Danish Film Fund, Film Fun was involved in several big productions such as In a Better World by Susanna Beer, which won the Best Foreign Language Oscar in 2011, as well as TV drama series like The Legacy and 1864. 
In any case, regional film funds have a very dynamic future ahead. Other challenges faced by regional film funds include sustaining a high production volume, as well as fostering and retaining talent in the regions. Nevertheless, it is generally agreed that the regional film funds have succeeded in regional rebalancing.